on this episode of Junkyard Jeep, we trade our crusty old idle prop carburetor for a quadrajet, which is the opposite of what most people would do, and we drive 40 miles one way to Picacho Peak to buy two more, because we love punishment here on Junkyard Jeep. And we're going to see if they'll run with no new parts. Check it. Sixty dollars for two quadra jets full of dirt. Not far. A hundred miles, fifty miles. We drove forty miles one way to get two remanufactured quadra jets that are full of dirt, but they're complete even with the air cleaners done. So I'm gonna use my inner quadra jet magic and do a zero budget, zero part rebuild in a can. And um see if we can get these things going. Especially now, they've all been messed with. They have all full of varnish. It's so hard to find ones that are even rebuildable. So we'll see. Okay, so here are our Quadrajet basket case rescues. Um, this one is a 1700 series. And this one is also a 1700 series, which is good because I have lots of 1700 parts. First things first. Um, already I can tell the metal control mixture solenoid, what have you, is stuck and will not go down. So already I know this has to come apart because it will not run if that will not go up and down. Yeah, it just immediately broke off. But that's all right. I think once we stick it back on there, it'll be fine. I've had carburetors like that and they've broken, they've, all, they've been fine. The secret though, guys, is you wanna beat the pin just far enough to where you can get a screwdriver in there to push it back out. And as you can see, our idle control is completely stuck. Uh, and there's just, dirt everywhere. So we're gonna de-dirt this thing. Um, but as you can see, it's actually spotless. I think he just left it outside in the dirt. But other than that, there's no rust, no varnish. It's just really, really dirty. I think that's gonna be fine. Look at that. Look at the action on that baby. So even though it broke off, it'll just hold it in place because of the pin. I think we're good to go. Welcome to the... Who's hungry? On this episode of Junkyard Jeep Kitchen, we have a serious problem. This pint of Ben and Jerry's non-dairy whatever peanut butter pretzel there's only that much left. And in this pint of Ben and Jerry's cookie dough non-dairy, there's only that much left. Either one of these is adequate for a serving of one. Let's rectify the situation. There. And then, from the dollar store, Viola Dollar Store Sprinkles. It's not a party if there's no sprinkle. Truvia Whip. Mm-hmm. About that much? Mm-hmm. It's not a complete balanced meal without Smucker's Sunday Syrup. Caramel.
that was done correctly. Have a great day. All right, our second carburetor is a hot mess. Unbelievably, idle control still goes up and down. Um, looks like we just got rust and dirt. So we are gonna take this whole thing out. We're gonna take this out. Yeah, it's gunky. We got a lot of cleaning, boys. We gotta get started. Woo! I'm just gonna high pressure, well, I'm gonna high pressure hit this thing with the hose. All right. It's dirty and gross, but we'll have good idle control. Our float's working. Um, let's just put it back together and see if she'll rip. Yo, Nifter. Uh, why are we standing around here doing nothing? What, what are we doing on the couch? Playing Diablo 3 with our barbarian. Uh, we need to get these carburetors finished and see if they'll work. Uh, Mitz, this is the opposite of working. Stuffing. This is the opposite of getting stuff done. Five minutes. Mitz, why are we uh, sitting here on the floor watching YouTube uh, when we're supposed to be seeing if these carburetors are even going to work? Uh, Niff, you're uh, blocking the door here. All right, hate to rush a hot rod, but here's our old Quadrajet. This has been on here for like five years. And all I did with this is I bought this used, sitting somewhere forever. I just cleaned it out with carb cleaner, reused the old gaskets, and it's been running awesome for five years. We're gonna take it off and we're gonna test carb number one which is the one with the uh, broken accelerator pump, I think. Miss Junkyard Jeep is coming home with pizza and we're gonna build Lego Bigfoot or Mega Block Bigfoot and play video games because it's game night. So we'll see how far we can get before she gets home. It's on. Oh, hey, yeah, those are gonna get. Before we do anything, we will be adjusting those right now. All right, fuel. No leaks. All right, guys, getting darker by the minute. This Junkyard Jeep is here with pizza. It's time to build Mega Block Bigfoot by Holy Grail of all Mega Block sets. We are out of time, out of daylight. We're gonna just hit the key and see. One shot, one deal. Here goes nothing, guys. Neutral. Here it goes. the most satisfying parts of this build so far. Wait for it, wait for it. Oh yeah, ready? Let's put these in here. Okay, ready? Oh yeah, that, that's very satisfying. Shutting the hood on Bigfoot. Oh man, this just gets better and better and better. I can't wait to finish it. We like the snap. It's the sound of progress and things going together as they should. Wow, this, these wheels are incredibly heavy. Ah, there it is. Done. Let's see. After we were rudely interrupted last night from 
Bigfoot, building Bigfoot out of Mega Blocks and video game night. Uh, we are back on this. Last night, the idol, <laughs> dude, this thing, it fired right up, but the idol went all the way up to like three grand. Gas pedal is way down on the floor. Okay. That's weird. Oh, good thing we're in gear. Okay, she wanted a little more idle than that, huh? She's cold. We got fuel leak? Well, we got fuel leak. Right here, of course. All right, let's tighten that. Well, it idles with the choke on. Blood now? No. I think it's just cold. Let's get. It's got the. It's got those stupid idle mixture screws that you gotta use that special quadrajet tool. Let me go get it. I hate those. There we go. I was waiting for that one turn where it sped up. Runs excellent though. Check out the magic. So you just take your sheet metal screw and uh, okay, that did not go well. Sheet metal screw, and I think what I'm gonna do. Go. I'm just gonna run it in till the head bottoms out on the bracket. Check it doesn't move at all now. Redneck Repair 101. Um, so yeah, now we gotta fix this. And that is way too loose. Yeah, so let's tighten that. There we go, right about there. So then, don't, don't let go of this screw. If you let go of this, this will become slack. You're supposed to use an Allen wrench on the stupid uh, bolt underneath, but nope, it's stripped all the heck. Jeep crap, quadrajet crap. Um, so I am going to use this pair of channel locks and that is gonna be our Allen wrench to tighten this stupid thing. All right. Good carburetor. Let's test drive this one, get gas and get coffee and see how she rips. Well, Wuff, that's one carb down. Boy, that one runs real good after five hours of looking for an Allen wrench and then five hours uh, finding the tools to adjust the secondary doors. It works good. Seems to run good so far. expected to uh, break down at the gas station, huh? Well, Tyners, uh, full report. One down, two to go. Tiny, did you know 
that I have like 30 base gaskets for those quadra jets. And out of those 30 base gaskets, not a single one of them fit any three of those carburetors exactly. Okay, stuffing, tomorrow's Labor Day. Can we do two carburetors and one Labor Day and go to a barbecue? Hey, I'm talking to you. Don't diss me. We're not finished. Hey, you. Get back over here. Hey, Tiny, tell your sister to get over here. Can you believe these guys? On I think we're done gonna have to make this a two or three partner. We got one carb done. I just got an email. My registration is about to expire. So the next episode, we'll take this carb through emissions, see if it'll pass. If it does pass, we're gonna rip it off, get these other two carburetors on there. This has gone on long enough. The drama and suspense needs to end. We need to see if these other two carburetors even work. I just want to get this over with. I am sick of carburetor purgatory. <laughs> um, these old beat up quadra jets, a lot of times you can just clean them and put them back together with no parts. Just use what's there, put them back together, clean them. A lot of times they do work. And sometimes they don't and you drive yourself crazy trying to fix them, but this time it did work out. So we'll see you on the next episode of Rotten Quadra Jet Yard Jeep. Yeah.